to let me know when you're done with your focus session. Yes, I'm Michael McLean, thank, thank you. Thank you. I got the I'm fan going. <laughs> I got the fan going for, the, for the feathery look here. Yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah. yeah, she's she's gonna. Hi, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, here, Mike, take care of this. <laughs> so I am Leonorilda Amador. I am an executive assistant with Capital Planning, and I identify as being a Hispanic. Being a Hispanic for me means uh, my parents were migrated to this country. I'm first generation, so I identify as Hispanic because I grew up speaking Spanish first. English was my second language, I, you would say. Um, I lived in a Hispanic community, a grocery shop, so it was, it was more like, it's like little Mexico, you would say. Uh, but when I went to school, I had to learn English, and yeah, that was it. So that's why I consider myself Hispanic, because my parents were Mexican migrants, first generation, and I guess I enjoy being, or being able to speak another language besides just English. Well, coming in um, to the Bureau of Economic Development, uh, it, was, it was interesting because it was brand new. Um, she was trying to create a very, or Madam President wanted a very diverse um, agency, I guess, because we do, at that time we were dealing also with housing, well, economic development still deals with housing, but um, our Bureau Chief at the time was uh, also a Hispanic woman, Maria Saldani, who was an attorney. And uh, she was very active in the community, and you know, we had people coming in who spoke Spanish, and you know, I think I was an asset to her to help her facilitate that as well. But you know, it was it was about creating something new that the president wanted to have a new legacy, um, and you know, putting a woman as the bureau chief, the first bureau chief of economic development. That was that was something new. I grew up in Pilsen. And um, I went to Benito Juarez High School. So once again, I was just surrounded. And, you know, I, I, for my daughters, I actually picked high schools outside of the neighborhood because I, I did want them to see that there's other cultures, there's other communities. And I wanted them to learn from those people as well because it's not always gonna just be the neighborhood. So, you know, you hear the younger generation, well, I call my kids the younger generation because their views are more like we could change the world, whereas my husband and I were older, we've become more conservative, you know? So it's, it's interesting how we sit around the table and the, a, a simple thing can turn into a large debate. And I, I really enjoy that. And I, I think I, I only wish more minority families would do that because I think the younger people could learn a lot from the older ones, from the older generation, and the older generation could definitely learn a lot from these young kids, so yeah. In my opinion, the best Mexican dish, mm, oh, well, I would say pozole. <laughs> I, I, at the moment, I can't name one. I, I actually enjoy it eating so I mean a lot of stuff so um, yeah lately I've been on this I guess because the weather's changing I can't wait to do pozole that's my thing <laughs> so for myself yeah it would have to be a pozole